In multiple linear regression scatter plots of y versus each regressor and the simple residual plot can be less effective in revealing certain features in the modeling process including relationship between y and each x. Unusual cases whose impact on aspects of model output cannot be ignored. In the MLR setting, the scatter plot of y versus x and the simple residual plot show marginal relationships, but MLR is about partial relationships, so plots that show partial relationships will be useful in MLR and guys, such plots are rare. Two popular plots for design for MLR, added variable plot and the partial residual plot. I'm going to keep it short and talk about the added variable plot. Fashionably known as the added variable plot or partial regression plot, it also goes by other names. The AV plot is the MLR version of the scatter plot Y versus X in simple linear regression. It displays the relationship between Y and given X but controlling for other regressors. This is consistent with multiple regression that models partial relationships. The AV plot is good for identifying influential cases but not as effective as the partial residual plot for examining non-linearity. Recall the case is said to be influential if its removal leads to big change in parameter estimates. So far so good? Super smashing great. Let's look at a couple of examples. The scatter plot Y versus S shows no relationship. In contrast, the AV plot shows there is a positive linear relationship and we are not surprised as the one scatter plot shows marginal relationships whereas MLR is about partial relationships. It's no coincidence that the slope of the regression line in the AV plot for S is equal to the slope for S in multiple regression because the line in the AV plot is always the partial slope of the associated MLR model. No outliers or high leverage points are visible which means no influence cases to deal with. Example 2. The AV plot for S shows there is a cluster of high leverage points to the right. The thing to do is to assess these points by conducting influence analysis. Assess the sensitivity of model output when unusual points are removed. <laughs> is the correlation of adjusted Y and X in our AV plot same as the partial correlation of Y and X controlling for other regressors? Yes. Can the AV plot be manually constructed? Yes. And here it is. Can you get AV plots for factors qualitative variables coded as dummy variables? Yes, you can. How does the AV plot get its name? An AV plot for X can be put this way. Give me a plot that shows the effect of adding in X given other regressors in the model. In summary, guys, the AV plot is useful for detecting possible influential cases in MLR. I'll show you how to get this plot in other various stats packages in separate videos. Add the links in the description. Description box below. Look out for the video on partial residual costs as well.